welcome back to my channel it feels like forever since i posted a video but i'm here to give you guys yet another great video with great content and information and in today's video we'll be talking about learning how to stay focused when someone is learning how to stay focused they know and understand that they must be consistent and without consistency it is very hard to like accomplish anything you got to be consistent whether it's with your health your schooling relationships being a parent whatever it may be it takes consistent work because it's like it's never ending and even for success it uh, you to stay focused you have to be consistent with positive things and to know that okay once i be consistent it is showing an act of being focused um a lot of times when people think of being consistent sometimes they may think okay well i'm a um let's take youtube for instance some uh, for instance um some people post twice a week some people post three times a week some people post once a week some people post once a month but when you look at that it's like are you being okay in a way they are being consistent because they have that set schedule okay like i know the schedule i'm going to post but it's not constant so i guess in a way consistent and constant i should have that on there too you want to have a constant and consistent well it's the same thing but i get my point it, you're not being yeah you're being consistent but not to its full potential when you have someone posting five times a week six days a week seven days a week then then you see okay they're being focused they know they're taking it serious or whatever it may be that was just a quick uh, example of what i can give you guys that's why i also decide to post every day too because it is a job it is like a nine to five and so i have to put in i'm on probation period i don't already missed a couple of days for legitimate reasons but i have to show hey i have to show the youtube world i have to show my subscribers like hey y'all i'm consistent i'm focused this is what i want to do this is what i need to be doing and so whenever you're trying to stay focused you must be consistent and that way you will get the results that you are looking for you're asking for you're praying for because without consistency it will be kind of hard to achieve whatever it is that you want so you always want to remember that when you're being focused and you're being consistent and you know what it is that you want you have to understand your true purpose a lot of people enter the um get into adulthood and and assume that they know what their purpose is in life and a lot of the times it's not until they're like 30 40 or but or older till they realize okay you know what this is my purpose in life i thought it was being a nurse or i thought i was supposed to be a rapper or i thought i was going to travel the world but no this is actually my purpose in life we'll take nelson mandela for uh for instance for example he probably thought his uh i didn't all of a sudden i forgot his little the little history i know upon him but he he probably thought his his purpose in life was just to was that Mandela? See, I'm about to mess it up. Was it his wife, his wife that was a fighter? It was his wife. Mandela was a huh? He was a fighter. That's Joe's in the background. Now I think his wife um, um, was a fighter, but I think Mandela was a boxer. So he probably thought his um, purpose in life was to be a boxer. But had he um had he um stayed focused on that of course we wouldn't have experienced the great the greatness of that and i didn't lost my train of thought of what i was why i was using mandela but the point is oh there it is find your purpose he may have been talented at being a boxer because i believe in my memory serves me correct he was a boxer but he found his purpose as far as standing up for the um south african people and things like that and, and making change and through that purpose he was still staying focused because he said, you know what, they, I think they put him in and they sentenced him, I don't know if it was life in prison, but a long time in prison, but he was still staying focused. And through and while you're staying focused, you must understand that you're going to go through some things and you're going to experience some things and it's going to be like, why me? Why do I have to experience this or what's going on? What am I not doing? I, I want to give up, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, Mandela still stayed focused because and consistent because he knew his full purpose in life. So while staying purpose, while staying focused, you must know your purpose and everything. It just everything just lines up together. Once you know once you know you want to be, um, be focused and you're going to be consistent and you know your purpose, everything just really start just going together hand in hand. And that's what you guys must um, realize and understand that you got to realize what your purpose is in life. It's not what you like doing, but it's what you love doing. Something that you know that 
without a doubt, without a question that you can do this without being paid or you can do this effectively. You can do this. You're the best at this, whatever it may be, whatever makes you feel good on the inside. And you're like, you know what? Yeah, I definitely have to keep doing this. An example will be for me. I'm realizing that my purpose is um, is kind of like with people. I'm kind of like a people person, but I'm not in a way because I really don't like being around people like that. But as far as my uh, of my purpose in life, I know that I have to help those that need the help. I realize that my pulpit, my purpose is standing up for people that may not can't stand for themselves or just standing up for against everything. That's and I realize that. Um, now that I think back over my life and just certain things, because I'm not that old, but the little experience I had to experience, I realized like, dang, I'm really, I really like um, helping people. I really do. And now I'm finding out that, you know, I'm not this shy little nice girl. I'm still nice, but now certain things just gets to me the core. And I'm like, nope, I nip it in the butt. This got to change. This got to happen. So I'm realizing my purpose in life is to be there for people, to constantly um, comfort people, to help people, to stand up for people, to to get justice for people, all that. And I'm realizing that's my purpose to the point where I can do this on a daily. That's why I can get on here on YouTube almost every day and speak what I have to say and talk to you guys, because I know that is my that is my focus and that is my consistency and that is my purpose. And so therefore, I'm just trying to fulfill my purpose in life. So I hope I'm not <laughs> making your head go in circles with all this purpose, purpose, purpose. But it is the truth. Realize your purpose and then you go after it. You fulfill it. And then you do the best that you can do before you leave this earth. When you are trying to stay focused and it is so hard when you're getting distracted and you just like, I can't do it no more. I'm not seeing the results that I want. You got to look at the bigger picture. Think of who you're doing it for. That could be your parents, your grandparents, your children, your spouse, your community, your culture. For you, it could just be it for any, it could be any of those things, but just remember and think about when you want to give up and you're not as focused as you need to be, that you know what, I'm gonna do this for such and such. I realize that this whole thing is bigger than me, and then I need to stay focused. So that would keep you in line like today. Yeah. So when this comes out, which will be tomorrow, I haven't posted a video in two days. Now I did this same video, but I didn't mess up, so I had to record it, which was supposed to be out come out yesterday by the time you guys see it. And I messed up, but I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get discouraged. I'm just gonna redo it. If I gotta not post in two days, it's okay. I'm gonna post it when it's ready and 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 you know when it's it's to my liking because I was like, uh, nah, I need to redo that. But my my point of that was saying is I, I still have to stay focused. I have to deep dig deep into whatever little zeal that I got left, whatever little energy that I got left to be like, I'm going to post a YouTube video and I'm going to do it effectively because I already shared with you guys, I'm just in transit transition with different things, whether it's legal, um, family issues, whatever. I'm just, you know, some things is just coming my way and I'm just like, I really don't, you know, have the energy, but I still have that passion in me like, nah, you're going to get out of this and you're going to do what you need to do. You need to stay focused. So that's, although I'm feeling like I don't want to post or whatever, because it, it sometimes it takes a lot, you know, the content, what you want to talk about, different things. And, and then when other life, family life issues hit you, like I told you guys already, it makes you a little unfocused, unbalanced, and, and you know, a little stagnant and things like that. But I have to tap into myself like Destiny, you know, we're going to get it together. We're going to stay focused and we're going to post these videos, do what we got to do. And... And just be an example for the people. While you stay in focus, you, you, you want to be the best you as you can. The best example. That way people can be like, okay, I see. Not only is this person living, talking this and preaching this, but they're living this lifestyle. And, and I see where they come from and different things like that. And it, it just makes life and things more meaningful. You can relate to this and you can relate to that. So thinking of the people you're doing it for can certainly keep you on track. Like I'm doing this for my people. I'm doing this for my subscribers. I'm doing this for those that want to grow and learn. And so I, I was like, oh, I'm, it ain't about me no more. So I, I had to find that purpose and everything in me to like, you know what? We're going to get it together despite what's going on. So I hope that makes sense. Because I'm kind of like, wait, what did I just say? <laughs> I didn't have to stop and rethink. But, you know, just think about everything. It is, it's in, in, in reality, you got to go through stuff. You gonna be a little bit unfocused and, and 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 make some wrong decisions and and make some wrong turns and make some bad everything in order to get to your end goal. 
sometimes in life we think it's just gonna go this way okay so this me and it's the camera the camera is my end goal and i'm thinking it's just gonna go this way and all that no we may get so unfocused to the web part we we end up here we went way over there we went we went in circles and everything and so it is important to stay focused that you don't have to do all those alternate routes because if you just stay focused you may get you may hit a little bump a little too may do a little zigzag but you still what you're not way up out your your area or your goal of, of focus to where you can't get it done or it's going to take you longer so just 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 remembering all that and 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 knowing who you're doing it for will also help you stay focused and motivated finding the motivation which is just similar to um realizing who you're doing it for but your motivation motivation can come in many forms and whatever that form may be just know that you got to find that motivation let, let whatever is going on not not take control over you not not hinder you from doing what you know you're supposed to be doing because in reality if we really if everyone in the world are, are those that are trying to make it or do make a difference if we really stay focused we'll be so much more effective in whatever it and whatever it is we're trying to do and so finding that motivation um whatever finding that motivation in 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 your in your in your craft and your gift whether it be uh your children or just whatever people are around you that's what's going to help you keep going like my motivation for me is like you know what destiny it's it's kind of really everything around me right now it's what's motivate me and 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 also of course my children because i want better for them and 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 just um my my goals are also my motivation because i know I have certain goals I need to reach and so without doing certain things, it's not gonna happen. So it motivates me to do better, constantly do better. I didn't slack up on my eating. I probably didn't gain about five pounds or so, maybe five, 10 pounds from, from since I first started YouTube and posted it. But you know, I had lost some motivation or I just lost focus. That's what happened when you lost, when you lose focus, you get sidetracked and you, you do things you know you're not supposed to be doing. And so I gotta get back on track on that. But it's just like, find that motivation in you. Find that motivation that's going to keep you going, and and even when it gets hard, you're gonna you still gonna be keep going, still gonna keep going, and and um, we often um, forget that we we crawl before we walk, and so and then before we and before we run, we also walk, and so everything is in order. You may be crawling right now th through your past path, or trying to stay focused, or you may be uh, limping right now. You may be willing right now whatever it may be skipping even if some people are sprinting because they didn't i don't know just it's just like work, work like that for them but whatever as long as you keep moving and you're staying focused that is really the bigger picture even if you're walking like a like a uh, what's what's those animals but if you gotta walk slow like this and you and you stand there a little bit but you stand at least you're still on the right track and you walking slow like this at least you're still going. I hope y'all was able to see me in full, but at least you are still going. And that is really the, 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 the important part of it. And it's not really where you at, it's where you're going to end up. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying, y'all. Um, I had got a phone call. But um, if I, were, I think I left off where I said you want to be motivated. But motivation can come in many forms. And I think I was saying, yeah, even in, it doesn't matter how... Um, it, it matters the pace but you know just keep going look at me I'm starting I'm a, a very tiny itsy bitsy youtuber but that don't stop me I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the bigger picture I'm trying to stay focused I'm trying to stay focused and you know and it ain't easy being focused is not easy all the time it's more easier to be unfocused than it is to be focused but if, if you know that you can easily be distracted and unfocused then and you you have the capability to be focused, that's just something you should pride yourself in. And you should let yourself know, you know, like whatever the distraction is around me, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to minimize that because I know that I have to stay focused in order to reach any goal that I want. Even if you got to get rid of some friends. Uh, put some relationships on hold or just not interact as much you know with your your partner or whatever um that's what you got to do or um um 
get rid of so much on your plate. Sometimes you got to make your plate a little less uh, heavy in order to do what you need to do. Whatever it is you know that you need to do, that's really what you want to do in order to help you stay focused. All this stuff is just to continue to help you stay focused. And then also, too, what helps me when I get sidetracked, or even right now, I'm like really just debating <laughs> if I want to finish school. It's like, do I really want to? I got two more. I got this semester and one more, then I graduate. But then I got to go to law school. And it's like, do I really want to do that? And I'm... I'm trying to stay focused and look at the bigger picture. Destiny without, well, I, technically in California, you still can be a lawyer, but it's like, it's more ben beneficial if I get those extra um, methods and te techniques that I will learn in law school. So that's what's helped me stay focused as far as school wise, because I'm like, I need to do this. I need to do this for my people. I need to do this for the culture. I need to do this to just to make, get justice and everything. So that's what's really helped me because I'm just really like over it. I'm over school. But for whatever reason, the creator and ancestors is giving me strength to continue it. Y'all, I'm so tired of school, but um, I appreciate it. And, you know, that's what's helping me keep focused. I'm looking at the bigger picture. And also, as far as like, as far as my health, I'm tired of anybody that know me <laughs> knows that I even like every year seems like I'm trying to lose weight, but I don't. <laughs> And, I, and I'm trying to stay focused on that. So it's going to be challenging. It's OK for for challenges to happen. It, it helps makes us strong and build us and helps us understand our, even develop things in us that we didn't know that we had. So everything at the end of the day works good for you. You may think something is going wrong or even something did go wrong, but the creator will allow something good or a blessing to come out of that. So as long as you stay focused and you know your end goal and you know that you truly love what you're doing, everything will come into play for you. So I encourage everyone, please, do what you have to do, complete your goals, accomplishments, whatever it is, and please stay focused. Before I end up ending this video, I also have one here, there are gonna be sacrifices. Now, I don't know if I said that a few times already throughout the video, but you're gonna to have to sacrifice. And sacrifices may consist of your money, your time spent with friends, family, and children, um, your education, whatever it is, some things gotta be put in order. You know, from this number one, this number two, this number three, and so on, in order for some things to happen. Some some people are gonna be left behind. Some some duties are our tasks are gonna be undone until you're done doing what what is most important. So sacrifice, staying focused and consistent and um and motivated is is gonna keep you on the right path. Yeah, I hope this made sense. Um I just I just urge everyone to continue to you know what you got to do you absolutely know what you have to do thank you guys for watching if you made it this far and please don't forget to subscribe like and comment and I'll see you guys tomorrow thank you bye